Refueling. It's that thing that those of us who are passionate about DCS often struggle with, no matter how much we practice. Well, today let's examine a few quick tips on how to beat the refueling woes. Approaching for refuel. Four, one, one, Texaco, one, one, proceed to pre-contact at 15,000, at three, zero, zero. Ready pre-contact. Cleared contact. Tip number one, get voice attack and VACOM, which is what I was just using. Voice Attack is a very powerful and very affordable application that allows you to give voice commands to any application that you use. It works just fine with DCS, but DCS has dynamic verbal commands, and VACOM is an application or mod for Voice Attack that adapts itself automatically for whatever scenario you are flying, so that you can issue voice commands in any situation. For me, Voice Attack has been a game changer, and I think of it as absolutely essential. Air-to-air -air refueling is such a sensitive operation that you just can't afford to take the time, even if it's only a couple seconds, to take your hands off the stick to grab the mouse to issue menu-driven communication to the refueling aircraft. Using voice attack allows for entirely voice-driven communications, meaning you never have to let go of the HOTUS. Tip number two is consider your HOTUS. For a couple years I was using the Thrustmaster Warthog. And I'll give it its due, in its day it was a shining example of HOTUS technology. But it does have certain definitive problems, one of which is the strong spring and center detente on the Warthog joystick, which create a couple problems for a virtual pilot. One of which is muscle fatigue, and if your arm is wearing out, you're going to lose the fine motor control necessary for air-to-air -air refueling. And the other is one has to fight that very strong center detente. It gives the impression that there is a perfect center, and there isn't. For example, note that on your car, if you drive, there is no center detente that tells you when the wheels are perfectly straight. Why should there be such a thing on an aircraft's joystick? And the other is that pushing through the detente tends to cause a slight overshoot in whichever direction you have to push. And in air-to-air -air refueling, it's simply not tolerable. Stick movements need to be very small, very light, and very graceful. And even the slightest overly strong movements of the stick can cause you to lose the extreme precision required to air-to-air -to -air refuel. To be honest, I myself had not realized how crucial an issue this was until I decided to invest the money in upgrading my stick. I picked up a VKB modern combat stick with a Gunfighter 3 base, and I gotta tell you, the base makes a tremendous difference. The stick is nice, but the base is more important than the stick in my opinion. And the base gives you a good feel of where the center of the stick is, but there is no strong detente, and this makes it natural and intuitive to make very slight but fluid and graceful adjustments on this joystick, which is absolutely critical to appropriate air-to-air -air refueling. There are other good sticks out there, but whichever you get, you're going to need a stick with a very good base. I really honestly consider a good base even more important than the stick. Tip number three is something a friend shared with me not long ago, and honestly, it changed the way I thought about air-to-air -air refueling so radically that I think it's part of how it suddenly became possible for me. He said, air-to-air -air refueling is just formation flying. And you know, boy, when I started to think of it that way, suddenly it made sense. I would get so hyper-focused on docking with that basket that I would end up rocking all around it as I got close. A mistake similar to that new pilots often make when they're learning how to land, when they end up chasing the needle. But when I started thinking of air-to-air -air refueling as flying tight formation, it was like magic. Suddenly it became very, very possible. These simple changes made all the difference for me. I hope it helps you as much, and happy fly. Thank you for joining me on the Cerulean Skies channel. And as always, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. It really helps.